everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to make some uh, ginger oat biscuits and uh, I had an idea for uh, such a recipe and I thought it would be quite simple to make and then I found a recipe on uh, DeliaOnline.com, Delia Smith's website for such a biscuit which also used some crystallised ginger and I had um, a jar of crystallised ginger here uh, which I needed to start using so I thought well yes that's an ideal recipe I'll give that a go so I'm basing mine on that recipe minor little tweaks but uh, basically it's the same recipe so I start off by preheating my oven to 170 celsius that's uh, 150 celsius with a fan 340 fahrenheit and I've lined a couple of baking trays with parchment paper. So I'll go on to the ingredients. And for this, I have uh, 110 grams of plain flour, which is two thirds of a cup plus one tablespoon, based on scooping packed flour into a 250 milliliter cup. And I have uh, four grams, one teaspoon of baking powder. And this is where my recipe is different to Delia's in as much as she uses self-raising flour and doesn't use the baking powder. So that's the, the, the main difference. I also have a pinch of salt. I have 110 grams, one cup plus one tablespoon of rolled oats. I have nine grams, three teaspoons of ground ginger. I have 75 grams, six tablespoons of demerara sugar which is a raw cane sugar but if you don't have it you can use granulated sugar or caster sugar it will work fine the flavour profile will be slightly different I have 110 grams which is uh, eight tablespoons minus one teaspoon of unsalted butter I have uh, 14 grams two teaspoons of golden syrup and I have 40 grams which is about a quarter of a cup of uh, the crystallized ginger and basically I took one piece of crystallized ginger I cut it into slices and then cut those slices into strips and then the strips into little dice basically um, and uh, so that's what I have there so that's all the ingredients and the first thing I need to do is to uh, put the butter and the sugar and the golden syrup into a saucepan and then uh, put that on a heat and heat it until the butter has dissolved, sorry, the sugar has dissolved into the butter. So I put that onto the heat and just gently heat that. You don't need to watch that heating. That's simply going to melt the butter and then dissolve the sugar in it. And while that's happening, we'll go on to the other ingredients. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my baking powder and my ground ginger and my salt into the flour. I'm simply going to give those a mix around. I'm not going to worry too much about it because I'm then going to sift that into a larger bowl. And that's going to get those ingredients all nicely combined. like that 
and then I'm going to, sorry for the noise, I'm going to add my crystallised ginger and I'm just going to stir that around to get those pieces of ginger mixed in reasonably nicely. And then I'm going to put the, the oats in as well. And I'm simply going to toss those around and get those combined. So I have my sugar dissolved in the batter. So I'm going to pour that into the, there's a little bit of residue of sugar, that's fine though, into the mixture. And then I'm going to just mix that, stir it until it's all combined. And with that well combined, I'm simply going to divide that into 12 pieces, which will be 38 or 39 grams in weight, basically. But you can eyeball it. You can tip that out and flatten it into a square or a disc and, and just cut it into the pieces you want. But I'm going to weigh it as I like to do. So I'm going to take about 38 or 39 grams which is that amount basically and I'm going to squeeze it together and form it into a ball. and put it on my baking tray and I'm going to put six on this tray and six on another tray. like that and I'll do the same with the remainder and so I have my 12 pieces um, formed into those balls and what I'm going to do is I'm then going to press those down and flatten them and they will crack a little bit it doesn't matter and there will be sort of not regular shapes but again that doesn't matter in the least and with those flattened fairly roughly like that I'm going to put those into the oven and I'm going to bake them for 22 minutes then I'll take them out of the oven um, and transfer them to a wire rack I'll allow them to cool down completely and then I'll come back and show you the result and we'll have a taste I baked the ginger oat cookies for 22 minutes and I took them out of the oven and put them onto a wire rack and I allowed them to cool down. So this is what they look like and uh, they baked up quite nicely. I've uh, bitten into one so that you can see inside. So they're nice and firm on the outside um, but just with a slight softer texture uh, inside. I have a taste of this. Mm. 
have a wonderful texture and you get that lovely oat flavour but you also get the sweetness and the heat of the ginger very very nice indeed um, this is a very easy recipe and a very good recipe so that's going to be it for today I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have please give me a thumbs up below and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the top right hand corner of the screen there will be an eye that you can click on and that will take you to a link for the recipe and I'll put a link below the video as well and I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future so until then happy baking